is going on, Cubs fam? First and foremost, no rogue actions today. Uh, very sorry about the delay there. Heinze and I were just about to record today in his Grand Arena. went so long, and I had things I had to do with my family. And so we just ended up not getting to it today. Getting to it today. We will be doing it tomorrow, though. So for all of you rogue actions junkies who love rogue actions, we will be there tomorrow for you guys uh, bright and early. Our goal is to record tonight. Today's video, though, we are going to talk about is the new Grand Arena working and where this came from this kind of i'll be honest transparent this kind of spurred from frustration on my part as you guys can see not my best round of grand arena uh two losses here and it's actually three losses here as soon as this is done my opponent here and and look I, i'm going to complain a little bit about the matchmaking here this loss i'm going to say was not a matchmaking loss my opponent uh, did very well he ended up uh, planning on full uh, efficiency and it worked out for him. He did have a GL advantage on me, but I don't really feel like having a single GL advantage on somebody means that the matchmaking isn't working. Um, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But it, it just kind of does come back to some long-term frustration I'm having. I know Gridden's having a lot of frustration. And I pulled the community. We'll show that here in a little bit as well on where everyone else's frustrations are at. And so we had a little conversation here in the fam. I, I just want to talk a little bit about what what's working with the new Grand Arena system and what maybe needs to be adjusted so that we can improve it. When CG first made the changes, they said that this was kind of like the beginning. They were going to tweak this. And so I hope that this feedback makes it back to CG. I'm, I'm really approaching this. I don't, today, I don't want to come on here and just scream at my camera and be butthurt that I'm losing Grand Arenas because it's really not about that. If I'm losing and I deserve to be losing, that's great. I just want to find a way that Grand Arena can be more enjoyable for everyone else. And right now, it feels like there's a couple things that are working, a couple things that maybe are not. So, let's start with the pros on the list. This is the first pro. We're going we're gonna to do pros, knock those out, and then we'll start. We'll, we'll be negative at the end of the video. But the crystal rewards, my friends, I just... Even if you're losing more Grand Arenas than you're winning, the amount of crystal payout that you're getting just for joining and participating in Grand Arena makes it worth it. And, and so for me, like, part of me feels bad complaining about Grand Arena because in a lot of ways, it's just so much more interesting to me now because we've got that crystal payout. Um, I also love that it's not just a GP dependent right now, um, which it pretty much that, that takes roster bloating, which is kind of another thing I put on my list. We'll just do those two together. Um, lean rosters isn't really a thing anymore. Having a lean roster doesn't benefit you like it used to. And I think that's a win. I think that's part something that the matchmaking addresses that needed to be addressed because people were specifically farming their rosters, not farming things, making their roster as lean as possible. So you could basically get this easy slate of opponents. And I don't like anything that manipulates the matchmaking in your favor. And so that's something that I don't think was good for this game before. We saw some players who took advantage of that that uh, got propped up and uh, did very well. Now that's not going to be a thing anymore. And I see that as a, as a good thing. I also really like another big positive here with the matchmaking is you end up with challenges that you might not have had before. I mean, I'm facing right now, most of my matches are opponents who have uh, more GLs than me. I think that's probably a byproduct of me um, winning more than I lose for the most part. I went up against this dude here. He's got six GLs. I've got four GLs. This was a challenge. I basically had three GLs because uh, my Sith Eternal didn't have his ultimate by the time I uh, joined for this Grand Arena. And there are times that I enjoy that challenge. There's other times that I don't. And we'll talk about that because there's a difference between getting a challenge that is new and fresh and exciting and being matched with an opponent that if they basically if they decide to play you lose and there's no nothing you can do about it and so anyway just wanted to throw that out there and then finally one of the last big pros that i think is is worth mentioning is we're not really getting matched up with the same people anymore now this this applies primarily to people who are in the really high top echelons of GAC. Um, I think, well, at the very tippy top, you're probably still getting matched up with the same people. But I, I have heard from a lot of whales, they were very used to seeing uh, the same people show up because their GP brackets were a little more uh, narrow. Now those people are seeing more variants in their opponents, which is very exciting for them. Okay, 
let's talk about the cons to the matchmaking system. And I'm going to say right now, in my opinion, the number one problem is that we are seeing some people get matched up with impossible opponents. Now, I don't think that this opponent that I went up against was necessarily impossible, but the odds were very, very strongly stacked against me when my opponent has six GLs, all with their ultimate abilities. I've got three GLs with their ultimate abilities, one GL without an ultimate. And basically what my opponent did here is he placed four GLs. He still had two to use on offense, so he could clear me pretty efficiently. And I just had to figure out how to how to win. And my Sith Eternal wasn't able to beat a GL, and so it ended up being a pretty easy win for him. I don't now this isn't the worst mismatch I've had. I actually was faced up several times before I even had Sith Eternal with three GLs against six. And that just doesn't feel very fun to me. That, to me, that sucks all of the fun out of the game mode when I'm in a situation where it is impossible to win. And that's just pretty much what, what it all comes down to for me. I've heard of other people getting faced up. They only have one GL and they've gone up against as much as five GLs at once. There's no way they're winning. That's just that's an impossible match. Uh, zero against four GLs, I've also heard. Um, anytime you've got... More than two GLs that you're going up against, it feels pretty impossible. And so what, what I really, really would like to see with the matchmaking is I, would, I feel like the way that they've had these GLs put together, I think GLs need to be factored into the matchmaking. And I think the easy way to do that is to have it be, at a minimum, you don't match up against people who have more than two GLs than you. More, more than two GLs. I think it should be plus or minus one. But I think I could compromise it too. Not that it's my compromise to make. I don't think CG's even going to do that. But I think that would eliminate these matchups where you just go in and it just feels like, okay, this is an auto win for my opponent. It, the matchmaking is moving in a good direction. But anytime there's a match that is an auto win for anybody, whether it's me or somebody else, I just feel like that's there's just no fun in that. And uh, to kind of uh, back this up, I did do a poll now. Take... Take any Twitter poll I do with a grain of salt. It's my community. It's only a subset of the community at large. Uh, we have 200 votes here uh, just in, in the last uh, couple hours. And this is how people are feeling about the matchmaking right now, at least in my community. There is a subset of people that really like it, 14%. Uh, but the majority say, okay, or it's not great, or it sucks. So just so you guys can kind of get a pulse on where I fit. I'm not going to say it sucks. I feel like it's not great. I, I'm probably in the 27%. I don't think I'd say it's okay. I would say it's probably not great. That's where I fit. But just for transparency, it looks like there, there are people who disagree with me. Some people who are okay with the current matchmaking system. And so maybe I'm just butthurt because I'm losing more matches than I was losing before, which could be just a get good Cubs scenario. And so for the sake of being fair in my analysis, that's where the rest of the community's at. Uh, let me know where you guys are at down in the comments on that. Now, another con I think that is important to mention in the current system is that there are people who are literally cheesing the system by losing grand arenas on purpose so that they end up with easier opponents. And I, this is something that kind of came up in our, in our stream today. We were talking about how, well, I lost three in a row. That sucks, but at least I'm going to hopefully get an easier slate next time, right? And I, I mean, so I can appreciate that the system is designed that way. But I also don't like any kind of incentive to lose so that I could maybe get more crystals next time. I think that's something that needs to be looked at. Another uh, con, this is maybe a little smaller of a con, but I'll, I'll use this last Grand Arena as an example. So I was clearing my opponent here. We were going for really high banners because my opponent got such a high score. And when we got to our back row here, we had a Bugs team that unfortunately we dropped a battle against. And as soon as we dropped that battle, GAC was over. As soon as we dropped that battle, we knew we lost. And because of the current system, there was really no incentive for me to do anything from there. Like, as soon as it was a loss, I'm, I mean, the, the only reason I continued playing is because I was running a stream and I wanted to entertain people on my stream. That was it. That was the only incentive for me. For you guys, I mean, what, other than getting practice in, there's really, like, where, where's the incentive to gain banners? I kind of miss the days of, I, I think they improved in some ways by making it not just this total banner fest of, you know, like feats and stuff like that. 
but I wish that there was a way to kind of give us incentive to still do better and get those banners, even if we know that we're going to lose. That's probably a small critique, though. I don't think that's the end of the world either. And then finally, probably the number one struggle here, ladies and gentlemen, is that for a lot of Grand Arenas, not all of them, but I would say probably a high percentage of Grand Arenas right now at the top, they're just being decided by the executor. It just comes down to, can you beat the executor? Can you not beat the executor? Or, or more, than, more importantly, are you getting the right RNG to beat the executor? Which if you're doing executor mirror match, kind of comes down to who goes first. What's the coin flip going to be if you're both Relic 8? Or if you're going up against it with your uh, Malevolent squad, it is just a RNG fest on is everything going to is everything going to target out right? Are you is Spy going to get the target on on Zandu Blood? Is it going to work that way, which I I've I've had success with that and I've had more matches that kind of don't get successful with that. And that just doesn't feel good, especially because people don't like ships. And so having ships be kind of the focal point of what is deciding these Grand Arena matches, I think is probably not sitting very well with a lot of people. At least I know it doesn't sit very well with my community. And this is just my anecdotal experience. If you guys disagree, tell me how you feel. I, I really want to make your voices heard as well. Do you guys agree with that feedback on the executor deciding these matches? Maybe you like that. Maybe you've got no problem with that. So anyway, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, this is one man's opinion. I'm pulling in opinions from other people in this community. I am not disgruntled about GAC. I still enjoy GAC, but I just wish they would tweak some of these things because there are a couple things happening with GAC right now that just don't feel great. All right, let me know how you guys feel about all of this down in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me for the video, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, my brothers, don't forget.